Hello, welcome. I'm Kent. Um, back to paint another picture. This time I'm going to be painting the Cumbre Vieja volcano, which is located in the La Palma Island in the Canary Islands in Spain, which is off the northwest coast of Africa, kind of the mouth of the Mediterranean Sea. Um, volcano erupted on September 19th of 2021 and the official eruption ended on December 25th of 2021. The picture that I'm painting is actually from December 14th at 6 11 p.m. from one of the webcam views. Um, what it got me interested in the volcano is actually technology, whatever, the internet. So I watched a lot of the live stream of the volcano eruption. Um, it lasted 85 days, so it was the longest known eruption from that volcano. It's a long time. They sadly had to evacuate 7,000 people and 3,000 structures have been lost there and there's one death linked with it with the eruption so that's a bad deal even one um, in the week that preceded the eruption there was 22,000 earthquakes which is pretty mind-boggling <laughs> to think about it's pretty cool some of the little facts that I learned about the volcano. Um, another thing was the island of La Palma, since it's a volcanic island, the sea floor is like 20,000 feet to, from the sea floor to the above sea level to the top of the mountains, which makes that if it was above ground it would be like the same size as Denali in Alaska which is pretty big biggest mountain in North America so that's pretty cool perspective gives us some perspective um, yeah so I watched the volcano eruption go on I didn't watch it every day but I watched quite a bit especially the later parts of it, the last month or so. And, and I was just in the chat room there and I was like, hey, I can paint this volcano. <laughs> so I decided that I was gonna paint a volcano. Hey, strange. Uh, a lot of the people in this chat room now probably were with the volcano, if you're not, Welcome, uh, feel free to say hi, ask any questions, anything like that. Uh, I got this red paper up here. I like to do my drawing on the paper and then trace transfer or whatever to my canvas and keep my canvas as clean as I can. So today what I'm gonna work on is the drawing and getting it transferred and then like the underpainting, some of the orange stuff on there. And then the next stream that I do on this one is going to be when I'm ready. <laughs> so, it'll be like the volcano. If you show up because you're free and I'm on there,
cool. If not, yeah. <laughs> You'll have to just watch it later, whatever. Um, it'll be global time, so if it was a normal time you saw me in the chat room, like, yeah, I might be painting at that time on occasion until this one's finished. It started now because it's Friday afternoon in the U.S. Um, 10 a.m. Saturday morning in New Zealand. <laughs> you going on a bike ride today? Uh, um, yeah, so this volcano, like, became kind of special to me just from like all the friends that I made while watching it or whatnot and uh, it's I don't know pretty cool thing pretty interesting uh, even though it's still got like the sadness and the tragedy a lot of people lost their homes and they'll never get to go back to them it's kind of wild like the Mount Vesuvius archaeological digs and things like 500 years from now somebody could be digging up people that live there now their stuff or whatever it's pretty wild to think about some of that like it's encapsulated I guess because of the volcano uh, yeah with this volcanoes the way the eruptions work is that they call the end of the volcano about 10, 14, 10 to 14 days or something after activity kind of stops. And this picture was taken the day after all the activity stopped, the sunset of that evening. And then the actual eruption ended about 10 days later on Christmas Day. 2021 so yeah this is my uh, awesome attempt to uh, paint this volcano and keep some of the memories or whatever <laughs> alive from the eruption that happened try and get I don't know make it somewhat positive I guess something like that uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start drawing it now. I've got <laughs> my fancy carpenter's pencil, one of those square ones. <laughs> I don't don't usually draw with drawing pencils. Just use the carpenter kind. Um, so I did do like a grid, three sections, and I put this little mark because I kind of measured to give myself some perspective. <laughs> and the rest of it's just, yeah, looking at the picture and drawing it. Yeah, I don't, tribute, I don't know, uh, Like, they draw those courtroom pictures or whatever, like, <laughs> something just, it's like, to encapsulate the end of the eruption, like, the picture being when it was, is kind of perfect or whatever, so yeah, like, like a tribute to the end of it, <laughs> and not to, like, the fact that it happened or whatever. Here in like a minute, it'll look pretty good. I don't know, can you see the pencil lines? Or not, oh. 
Whoa. There we go, moving things. Uh. Whoa. I gotta not stop moving things. Okay. <laughs> Keep it on the screen. That would be smart. I'll go over this in a sec with a sharpie and then I'll pull the paper off, put charcoal on the back of the paper, stick it back on there and then go over it again with my pencil. <laughs> in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah. How's the weather down in the New Zealand? Is it still hot? something. Sorry. Okay. Had to get rid of the photo with the lines on it. So that I could, you know,
<laughs> I don't understand the, tr the new trolls like the volcano ended in December this is now February 25th so like two months have passed and the VUM dot whatever's That's a new one. <laughs> hey, Electro. Yeah, I'm good. Um, I thought you were busy. <laughs> On vacation or something. Did you take your wife to a fancy place that is wrong I should have done this like off maybe, I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> Currently in a hotel bar down in Waterford near London. Yeah. Sounds all right. How far is it? You're taking the children to Warner Brothers Studios, Harry Potter. Sounds pretty fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie. 
I would totally enjoy that, I bet. <laughs> um, okay, so that's like that. This thing is. So I drawn on this paper since you weren't here earlier and then I will uh, like charcoal the back of the paper and then transfer to my canvas and try and keep my canvas cleaner so I don't get it all pencil marked and erasered or charcoal and whatever only put the lines I want to see on there and It'll help me to see what I'm doing later, sort of. Um, yeah. About four hour drive, that's not too bad. That's like going to a major city for me. <laughs> Anywhere for, yeah. Um, can see that at all. Or not. But you'll see it in a few minutes if you can't see it yet. sense anyway, sort of, since you guys saw the volcano so much, if anybody's in here that didn't, then they probably wouldn't understand it. Charcoal the back. Real quick, like. I 
Charcoal, similar to what you use in gray school with the pencil and the tracing. Yeah, basically. Um, so I then drew it on one side and put the charcoal on the back. And then now, I'll hopefully not move it around too much. it up too bad or whatever and then I'll just use my pencil again and draw my lines so I drew them three times by the time I'm done and none of them will be like <laughs> on top of exactly where the other or the original one was. Which is good because it'll give it a little bit of like unperfectness. I don't know, I might already do that one. Most of these are just kind of shapes anyway. Kind of guidelines more than rules. Yeah, basically though, I do the, I did double up a couple of those lines. I transfer it 
that way so that I don't end up with a hundred thousand lines everywhere that I have to try to erase that I try to erase or whatever. A lot of them will go away because it's charcoal, but I just don't want all the extra lines in there. <laughs> yeah, so once it gets a little color, this part will change up a little bit. It might need to still change up a little bit. Tiny bit. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, once the uh, once that part, like in the center here, gets into the shadows, then it'll uh, look more proper, more proper, better. You got a phone call. <laughs> You said that last time you got a phone call too. <laughs> Every time. Um, that one there. Like that. Like that, like that, like that. And that one is. Something, I don't know. I think that's that wall. I think that's Todd's wall. Actually, I'm not sure if it was there, if it was on the coastline. But there's either a telephone pole or another wall like up in there. How are you, Rachel? Glad that you could come and join us while we do this thing. Pretty awesome. Uh, so I don't know how many of you were here when I did my introduction thing, but I'm gonna paint this. When I'm gonna paint this, I'm gonna stream it, but I'm probably not gonna schedule it. But I'm gonna be working on it over the next week or a few days or whatever. I don't know. Like in the morning when I get up, if it's ready to paint on, I'm gonna paint on it. And if it's not quite ready, then I'll wait. But I'm gonna get with it and get it uh, finished or whatever. I'm gonna stick with finishing it pretty quickly, however long it takes, whatever. But yeah, so I don't know when I'll be on again next, but. If you're here or if you're not, no worries. Love you guys. Um, be kind of cool though, cause that'll uh, like if I get on at 4 a.m. my time, like some of you guys will have a better opportunity to be on or whatnot. I think it's more normal times around the world, even different stuff like that. Uh, move all my stuff around again. And add some paint. <laughs> it's gonna look like the volcano in a little bit. <laughs> sort of. Pretty much. Pretty excited. paint always has like a little dab of oil on the end of it it's kind of runny like on the very top of it for some reason but I do like a new tube
Your daughter calls you every time she goes somewhere. You were looking at the images of Nikki's little house on Google Maps the other day. And her view is literally looking up at this thing. Huh. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it'll be interesting to <laughs> hear what she says if it looks like the... <laughs> if it looks anything like it or whatever. I don't know. They say photos are strange or whatever. Photos change the way something looks. To some degree. Okay, Rachel, have fun. Enjoy your grandson time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> It'll be something he'll remember when he's like my age or whatever. Oh, don't erase my lines completely. Um, this canvas is a lot <laughs> better than the other ones I've been getting. So it's runnier, it's slicker. Which is cool. I'm gonna like that better, like, I know I'm gonna like painting on this canvas a lot better. Once I get going. This is the same as my first one that I bought. And that one turned out okay. I hope I'm going to erase my lines entirely. Painting with paint thinner is like watercolor almost. I started doing that, but the first one I can't talk about yet. <laughs> Actually, I could show you the very first one, but the first, like, real one is going to be something pretty cool. Right now, if you haven't seen me do this, or if I've never explained what I'm doing, I'm using real thin paint in one color, and I'm basically just glazing the canvas or whatever, so that it's not white, mainly. Here in a sec, I'm going to wipe it all down. And then I'll do this again, like over it, once it's all consistent. And start making it look volcano-y. And then when it does, I'll have to let it dry for a little while. And then I'll be able to add the color. Like this is sort of a rough draft if you look at it that way. <clears throat> yeah, the photos change the, I don't know, everything. I mean, I'm sure it still look, looks right, but it's just different, I guess. 
but I'm not in that island, on that island. <laughs> so that's the best I can do. With what I've got. But I think it'll be pretty cool. If you're curious, if you're new here, if you're watching and you don't know what it's gonna look like, you can rewind back to the very beginning. And there's a picture of the picture on the screen. to do a video call and see everybody. Yeah, nice everybody too. Hopefully, by the time this is over, everybody's been around or whatever. <clears throat> I was looking the other day, actually on YouTube. I was gonna see if I could find a couple of people. I didn't though. stuff going on. It's pretty uh pretty jacked up, huh? that UK guy though. He sounded like he was kind of all over it. Mad. That stuff.
Yeah, that Harry Potter thing. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome, and I'm not even a kid or whatever. Like, I could totally. Did that freeze? Yeah. That's really cool. Oh man, that is wiping off more color than I wanted it to. The paint's too thin. Turn that in. Yeah, that was a good idea. Like, especially as popular as it is. Whatever that series, like. I don't know how much money I made, but it was a bunch. That's for sure. The Hobbit stuff is too. Like the little houses and everything. Just more, <laughs> another way for him to like, suck a bunch of money out of forever. Kinda. I don't know. <laughs> Still pretty cool. Yeah, like their little village and all that stuff. Alright. 
I'm still getting there though. This, this paint's being butthead. Kind of just giving me the idea of where things will go. <clears throat> where the colors are going to go later. So this was supposed to be darker. It's like the dark shadow of the mountain. In the mountain, the mouth of the volcano. Kind of weird though. I can, uh, I don't know. I, when I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. So, I would just paint. And then I decided maybe I needed to make my brush strokes go the way I wanted things to go. And that helped. And that was kind of cool and weird. So, when the volcano first erupted, how did you find your way into the volcano chat on Watch Live? You were quite late to the party. When did you... S you were there, sort of. About the time that I got there. I thought you weren't that much newer than me. Uh, I actually watched it, though towards the beginning so my YouTube consisted of like mine exploring videos they're pretty cool I watch a few different guys go do that like not that I want to go do that because it looks super dangerous and scary and all that not for me but watching them is pretty cool and uh, I guess like the geology or whatever, Nick from home. If you watch this, Nick from home, you're cool. You tell me a lot about geology. And I guess the algorithm or whatever, like, gave me lava or whatnot. And that's how I ended up watching a volcano for a few months. <laughs> I guess the best answer I could give on that. Something like that. Oh, I don't want to do that though. I don't want it. kind of strange actually like I didn't really even I so like the first little bit that it was happening or whatnot like what I said like I watched at the beginning for like a few days just in the evening or something like oh man this volcano and then there's some YouTube video that said like there's gonna be a landslide and duh, you know whatever you know the gist of that and uh, I guess that intrigued me a little bit because that video was like way before the eruption and stuff. It was kind of like interesting or whatnot. And yeah, so I watched parts of it and then 
I stopped watching it after a few days. I kind of lost interest, I guess. And then I came back to it and there was somebody in the chat room that was saying how cool Brandon is. So I waited 30 minutes to tell him how uncool Brandon is. And then I stayed there for like two months or whatever after that. <laughs> yeah, strange things. <laughs> And while we were there, we knew that the thing would end and almost not thinking, I said, hey, I can make my own chat room. And here we are. <laughs> Painting the volcano. Doesn't sound like a good idea at the time. <laughs> Some people do these super good, they're underpaintings. <clears throat> I think it had been going for about three weeks when you found it. So yeah, you were there like as much as I was in the end or whatever. That three weeks is probably like the same time that I didn't watch. Something like that. I was surprised, honestly, that when it was still going on. I don't know, whenever I clicked back on it, like right before Halloween. So yeah, I pretty much watched it from Halloween to Christmas, whatever that is. But yeah, regu regularly that time, that much time or whatever. But yeah, it was uh, pretty like okay, like around the end of October when it was still going on. Like whoa, <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty cool thing. Like. Got to meet some cool people, for sure. Then do some pretty wild, amazing things. <laughs> Just like living all over the world or whatever, it's pretty cool. But something that tragic could bring a whole bunch of people together and whatever. It's pretty cool. No, well, this doesn't just like wipe straight off. And I'll be good. As long as I can see my. When I'm done. When I'm happy. I think we're going to be good. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, how many colors do I have on here? Huh. <laughs> 
too. <laughs> There we go. That is how I wanted it to look. Sort of. Yeah, like my best guess though is the geology stuff. There's a guy called Nick Zetner, I think. Nick from home on YouTube. Uh, that guy, he's a teacher up in Washington and he teaches a lot about some cool subjects that I find interesting. <clears throat> let me see, what, let me see if I gotta do anything else before I stop looking at the photo. First time I got to see that, <laughs> see what you're looking at, because I've been looking at the reference photo. Yeah, this was gonna turn out good. I'm, I knew it would. <laughs> Knock on wood, whatever. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna take me a little while, like. Getting into some of the details on it though, because I want to actually take my time and make it make it look like a very good painting. But yeah, and I'm gonna stream the whole thing. I almost stole volcano audio, like whatever. Put the volcano sound on a loop, <laughs> just to be mean. <laughs> I guess, whatever, not really to be mean, but I thought about doing it, listening to it myself or whatever, and just like getting in that mindset, but I didn't do it. I decided against it. It's gonna be cool though. I am convinced. Hi, Miss Hattie. I'm all dirty. I'm dirty. I've been painting. Yeah. You still tired from playing no frisbee? No. I'm go lay down for a minute and then I'll give you a call in a minute. <clears throat> yeah, this, so really it's two colors. And I got... Yeah, and actually... Oh, that's glary. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. It's not that bad of a glare. Yeah. So, when we're in that chat room, I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start a chat room and paint this volcano. Did it! <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yeah. But I am going to wait until like tomorrow some point to actually add color. I do want to let that, even though I wiped it off and it's not really there, I do want to let what I put there dry somewhat overnight or whatever before I do put anything on it. Um, I did get my watercolor stuff and pretty soon I'm going to paint this in watercolor after the volcano. It's a raccoon laying on this tree branch and there's going to be like a swarm of koi fish going crazy and a few lily pads and like a little pagoda Japanese kind of like shrine thing out in the background. I came up with that one from like 
you guys that know me have seen the picture or whatever, you've seen the raccoon. The actual like mounted stuffed taxidermy raccoon. That's where I got my inspiration. This week. Yeah. Uh, that actually went a little faster than I thought it was going to. It's what happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like, don't want me that guy. <laughs> Say I'm gonna do that and then not do that, whatever. It's not how I roll. The uh, the watercolor stuff's pretty cool. Um, with my littlest brush, I can straight be like with draw out the comic, and it looks like my line mark or whatever looks almost like a marker or pencil or whatever it's very doable so I can definitely paint those on the stream the uh, animation stuff on the other hand is like still a work in progress like I haven't worked on the progress though so <laughs> that's part of <laughs> part of the problem of that <laughs> Is, yeah, I have to actually sit there and do it, but it's weird to draw even on the drawing pad thing for the computer. Like, that definitely helps, but it's still strange to draw on the computer. The painting on will be pretty cool. I could do that in like an hour or whatever, an hour or two, I bet. Like, paint one episode and a live like a whole live stream and have it colored and everything with the using the watercolors so that'll be kind of cool the other one I wish I could talk about it <laughs> but I don't want to yet I mean I could but I just don't want to yet um, yeah so there's some pretty cool things that are happening this is the first one. It's gonna go well. If you just joined us. Oh, I closed it. Uh, anyway, if you're just joining, this is the Cumbre Villa volcano in the Canary Islands of Spain, off the northwest coast of Africa, kind of in the mouth of the Mediterranean Sea on the island of La Palma and it started erupting on September 19th, 2021. Yeah, and it was officially over on December 25th, 2021 after 7,000 people were evacuated. Sadly, very sadly, 3,000 structures. So not all houses, there are some sheds and farm buildings and various other structures but structures nonetheless uh 3000 lost and in the week preceding the actual eruption there was 22,000 earthquakes which is just like crazy because i watched a lot of the volcano and paid attention to the earthquakes and there was like like 400 over a 24 hour period was a ton so that was pretty cool. Um, and only one life was lost that they're contributing to the eruption, but it wasn't until after Halloween or something around then. I don't know. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. How many sessions would you expect to do on this painting? So if that was one, then at least three. I'm guessing, like, 
so if I go on tomorrow, which I'm probably going to, I don't know, I don't know what time it'll be. Um, yeah, I'll have to feel it in the morning. It'll be sometime tomorrow, but like once I go on, after I paint, I'm gonna just leave it on for quite a while while I'm being, start being picky. Um, but this one is never gonna fully dry before it's basically done. <clears throat> the neighbor is chasing on a tree at the moment. I hope he doesn't get hurt because that looks very dangerous. <laughs> I've ran a chainsaw before plenty and they are scary. It's one thing I always am like, yeah, okay, this thing's very dangerous when I'm using one. Be careful, children. Got sidetracked. Oh, yeah, so... Um... I may end up just being like whatever <laughs> like when I go take the dog out and stuff tomorrow like that might be on there if you pop in <clears throat> uh, yeah or I might leave that on there for like 30 minutes even if I gotta run somewhere instead of stopping the stream and starting the stream a hundred times or whatever over the next few days like once I start in the morning, I'm going to let it roll like the volcano kind of thing. Unless I know I'm going to be gone for a few hours or whatever, then I'll probably actually shut it off. But I'm going to try and work on it a lot tomorrow. And then, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could. I don't want to say, like, I'm going to finish it. Like, it's pretty s simple painting for me, kind of like the uh, curry chicken was or whatever. There's a, not a whole bunch of colors, so just getting them to where I need them or whatever. And then I'll probably stop again and let it kind of dry, like tack up or something. I don't know how I explain it, but there's like a certain point where I really like the paint and it's still kind of wet and I can do all my like finishing and details and that type of things at that point. So probably three sessions, like two more roughly, but yeah, like the time lapse is kind of cool because you don't see how long I actually sit here and just stare at it sometimes in between brush strokes. <laughs> if you send out the push notification, I'll pop up. Yeah, it should, uh, I don't know, if you ring the bell thing, I guess, it should send out a deal. But I'll, whenever I restart, Start it, it'll restart on this same link that I used today, I believe. But I'll post one in the what whatever I put up tomorrow, I'll post in the WhatsApp, and that should be good for like all day long tomorrow if I'm on. And then uh Yeah, maybe Sunday I might I might like, I don't know, it's hard to, hard to say, like at some point I might actually want to let it dry hard before I finish it too. <clears throat> it's just, yeah. But I do want to like make sure this one's completely how I want it before I say it's done and all that. Like, I'm gonna spend some time like on the picky stuff that I haven't really done on camera yet, sort of. So the prairie chicken, like, I probably only spent like 30 minutes on that, like, actually painting, but it was over like two and a half or three hours. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think that that's what's gonna happen, what's going on, whatever. It wasn't super long today, but 
Tomorrow it'll be longer. A lot of it'll be um, a lot of it'll be I'm reporting these dummies. I don't even know what you call that. <laughs> uh, what is that Russian like? <laughs> is it Russian? I don't know. The bomb raw red. I don't get it. Or maybe I'm ignorant and I should know what that means, but I don't. <clears throat> yeah, so tomorrow. I'll be on for a while, for sure, painting. Um, what time is it in New Zealand, Strange? Now. So I have no idea. You're, I know you're six, Gary's six hours ahead. And Nicky's six hours ahead. Kenneth's two hours behind. And I think Rachel's the same time or else an hour ahead. I don't know, though, for sure. So, I get up really early American time. And if it's good to go, then I'm going to be back on then. Whenever that is. He must have had to go help the neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming. Um, come back tomorrow. I hope that you enjoy and all that good stuff. And we will uh, see you then.